Good morning, everybody. Just not waking up. Um, <clears throat> I got a question. If anybody know, like, are there eye exercises? Like, I'm, like, looking at my eyes and I see, like, these little, like, my eyes is cut, not like almost like Asian. I seem like the bottom of this, like it's not fully open. I walk around looking like I'm half asleep all the time. It was just not what I'm trying to do. So I'm trying to improve any way I can, y'all. Any, any way I can. But like, is there, is there a such thing as eye exercises? Like, you know how when you maybe sit down in the chair or whatever, and you just like, and you're looking at your phone, and you're looking down. Like, why we never like have our phone up here? Or were we, you know, looking up? It seemed like your eyes opened up more when you were, like, looking up. Like, I was, I was sitting here thinking, like, like, if I ever get a TV, like, somewhere else, like, I should put that, mo that bitch up, like, like, high where I can look up to it. Like, whatever I'm doing, just, like, look up instead of, you know, looking down. Like, I noticed, like, we put everything, like, below our, like, we put everything, like, where it's not, like, at standing level, I should say. It's like, you have to, like, either be a little person or something, though. To, to properly use some of this stuff, but like this for example, like check this out. Like look, look at this. Like, what that printer is. Stuff so goddamn low all the time. But anyway, I want some other shit. Um, how y'all doing today? What's up with y'all? Good. Yesterday, I was uh, I was talking about um, I was talking about uh, the approach. Or the fear of making a mistake when talking to somebody, and how um, <clears throat> getting over that fear you have, you live a better life by getting over that fear. That's what I talked about yesterday. But today, what I want to talk about is I want to talk about not giving a fuck. The reason why I want to talk about that is because same thing as yesterday. Like, I know a lot of times, like, a lot of times when you go somewhere and you, you know, you go purchase a TV or you do anything and you're buying from somebody else. It's still that feeling of I'm buying something from somebody else. Like, what if I had the education where I had the tools to make a TV or make certain things, then I wouldn't have to go for go to everybody for stuff. And it, even if I did, it would be a trade. So, 
Because it'll be like, it'll be like, it'll be equaled out. Like, okay, you got this and I got this. So basically, you show me how to do that. I'll show you how to do this and then we, we cool. Or whatever. If it can work out like that. But. Not giving a fuck. Sometimes you gotta just say, you gotta say fuck it. I don't care if a nigga, if you're white, if you're black, blue, red, whoever the fuck. Just don't give a fuck. Old, young, depending on how young, you know. <laughs> but, uh, old, young, you just, sometimes you gotta say whatever the fuck you gotta say, man, because it's always living that life where it's like you got somebody over your head all the time, like, no, like, don't know why you want to live like that. Like, who the fuck, who the fuck, like, desires to live like that? Like, no, I don't, I don't get that shit. Respect is different, but still, as a, a young adult, shit. And then, no, bro. It's crazy because now I'm I'm 24 and I kind of, I don't wish, but I think back when I was younger, if I had like more courage to maybe get into more a couple fights and talk back a little bit or, or um, say whatever's on, whatever's on my mind, like I wouldn't be as like trying to do that shit now or whatever, but. It's never too late. You can always, always do what you got to do, or you can always um, perfect what was imperfected from your past if you, you know keep working on it. So, not giving a fuck. That's the message today: is to not give a fuck, no matter who the fuck it is. Especially, especially, like, especially, like, outsiders. Like, you shouldn't, like, like, shouldn't be scared to, or, I don't want to say scared, but you shouldn't feel like you're bothering somebody by asking somebody about a question that you don't know about. Because clearly they went, you know, maybe they had education on it, or that's their job, or whatever, but. She asked that question until you're able to understand fully what it's about. Cause a lot of times, man, we we be doing shit when we we buying shit and we we just we just go along with everything. And sometimes it be it be it be like little schemes. Cause a lot of stuff be just money based. Like you ever heard of that uh, scenario or that thing where they say, uh. Every time you go to a car shop and you get something fixed, something else break. It's sort of like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it seems like you can get your car fixed, but whenever you get your car fixed, it seems like something else is breaking. Like, maybe somebody, you know, is unscrewing something or loosening something up. At the same time, it's fixing something. So it's always, it's always a... Uh, it's always something that it's always something, you know. And when it comes to money, like it's everything. Just sometimes be everything is a money thing with, with everything. It shouldn't be like that, but that's the practical world we live in. So until we, me, you get the tools and resources resources the education that we need to make our own stuff have our own car shops have our own um <clears throat> own eyeglasses store or our own grocery store or our own our own car manufacturing factory or our own everything you know we won't feel like you know we everything is like we won't feel we won't our heads won't be in the unknown 
as I should say. So, I always looked at it like this. Like, you ever play the game where it's like, in the game, the only part you can see is the circle around you. You, you can only, only see um, what's around you or where you've been. And everything else that you don't know about, everything is gray. It's on the cloud. And the more you, the more you voyage and you search throughout the game, um, the gray clouds go away and you're able to see exactly what's ahead of you, what's around you and what's going on. So that's how I look at life. Um, it's a lot of gray areas that we have, that I have, you have, that we uh, that we're we're figuring out. And I've just been figuring I've been figuring out that you need education and you need knowledge about everything. Everything that that's going on, with, you know, contacts or uh, you know what you're putting in your eyes or what you're putting into your body, food, the water, everything. Because a lot of misconception about us is that you know, or my or I'll say my misconception was when I was younger. I feel like being smart wasn't cool. And being dumb was like you see how like fucked up that that thinking is like when you when you're younger and you feel like like being smart is for white people and being being dumb is for black people like when I was young that's how that's how I I I was thinking back then and that that that's that's a crazy way to to think but it, it's it's not like that. Being smart is for black people. It's for for everybody. Being dumb is 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 dumb. Nobody nobody should want to be dumb. So there ain't no cool thing. Cool is always handling your business, studying knowledge. It's always been like that. But that's how you know. You looked at it back then, depending on who you was hanging around with when you was younger. So. message today is don't give a fuck get what you gotta get for you get your education get your knowledge don't just settle for um we got you covered and you just be like yeah okay no get know your knowledge about everything the fine print everything until you get your shit when you own everything, you own your own everything around you. When you ain't gotta purchase shit, you just gotta build it. And that's when we that's when you win it and that's when you truly you truly living in a unchained world. When you can create your own world. I hope y'all understand what I'm talking about. If not, I'm gonna continue bashing this shit in y'all head. Cause this is this is very important. So it's about fourteen minutes, fifteen minutes in. But seriously, if y'all got any idea about like eye exercises, like my shit sometimes be closed. Like that shit is crazy as fuck to me. If y'all seriously know about any eye exercises where you can keep your pupils from like just straight looking down, like when I seen that shit yesterday, I was like, man, what the fuck? That shit crazy. I think it it will also help to move shit up, where it's so you don't have everything that that you're looking at. It's not below you. You know, have some shit that you can look up to. We're not as small as you know, people think. So, anyways, I'm gonna end the video on that note. Check out the last video I uploaded yesterday, and I have this uploaded later on today. Keep these daily vault 
daily vlogs going and everybody have a good one. Peace.